Hi folks, welcome to another Naughty Control update. This is uh, basically the ST wireless box. It's a CTOK interface that allows a wireless connection between laptops and, and wee remote controls and stuff to autopilots and other Raymarine instruments like the ST60s or uh, the what do you call it, the C80 chart plotters and things like that there, which I'll give a wee demo later. Uh, this is a 2.06 update and there's a couple of features that have been widely asked for. The first is um, GPS, so you're able to send GPS data um, down. So, and you'll show that in the chart plotter. So instead of the actual inbuilt GPS, it can actually receive the GPS and I'll demo that with OpenCPM. The other thing that was widely requested and the main thing that was widely requested is the track functionality. So basically in, in OpenCPM or any applications I got there, you can set your, your destination and it'll track basically send the information uh, commands down to the autopilot so it basically translates from NEMA NMEA 183 commands from OpenCPN to CTOK commands um, so I'll give a quick demo of those uh, there's other optimizations and bug fixes and things like that there so yeah definitely worth an update um, so what I'll do now is give a quick example here with OpenCPN running So we are now in OpenCPN um, I have already connected to the Naughty Control Box Wi-Fi um, and I have set up the TCP IP connections. Uh, as you can see, it's simply a network in out TCP IP a network address 192.168.1.1 and the port's 8091. So these settings here, as you can see, if we had a okay, so that's already set up. I done another video on that anyway. So if you check out the other setup videos, you see how to set that up for OpenCPN. And um, what I will show now is if we find ourselves here. So if we zoom in, just making sure my GPS. So if I set us navigate to here, um, so. The true heading that's actually coming from the, the autopilot. I'll show that there now. So that's actually coming into OpenCPN uh, from the CTOK bus. Uh, but what is the cool bit is we now have, as you can see, the GPS and headings. So that data is actually getting sent from OpenCPN into my C70 Raymarine chart plotter uh, that I use for testing. You'll also see we've got a waypoint bearing of 33 degrees, which is right, and a distance of 10 nautical miles, which is great. And then it tells us what our speed over ground and our cross track is. Um, and if we go to here, click auto, and then if we do it in track mode, so you can see we're well off course, so it's telling us to get back on course because uh, our current heading is 239. So the cross track is actually zero because we're obviously following the track because we've just started. Um, but yes, so you can see there 238, 238, and 238, 239. Well, it's changed there just as I to make a liar out of me. Um, what you'll also notice is that the GPS data is going across. So speed over ground is actually because the GPS is fluctuating a bit. You'll see on my ST60 speed. And if I change the speed over ground, the um, data from OpenCPN and GPS is actually getting brought over onto those devices. So I'll shoot again, auto, and then we do it in track mode. Uh, I don't have enough, the power is a bit wonky. So it's telling us we need to steer to starboard, which is right, because it's obviously that way. Uh, steer to the right for the heathens. So that's a quick demo of the 2.06 updates with the uh, autopilot tracking mode and uh, GPS data going across from OpenCPN. Uh, just demo some of the stuff I've demoed before with data coming from the CTOG bus into OpenCPN. And if you had wind instrument or anything like that there as well, that data would come into OpenCPN. Again, I've showed that another video of that. So if you want to check that out. Uh, 
Um, but yes, thanks for watching. If you haven't already picked up one of the boxes, uh, you can either make your own or you can help me out and buy one. Uh, I'll stick a link down below to the shop on my website um, and you'll find other stuff on there, like different types of controls and things like that there. Um, but yes, if you want to even give the, this video a like and if you want to find out more and keep up to date with these changes, uh, click subscribe. All right, thanks again for watching. See you all again soon. Cheers, bye.